name of the game in mob psychology in gang psychology. Stockfall has intensified. It's down about 6%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average. Caterpillar has announced huge record-level deep layoffs and plant closures. And what does that tell you? Globally, Caterpillar is the biggest seller of heavy construction, mining equipment, you name it. And they tell us we're in this global boom economy, but the truth is we're in a global depression in many areas, a recession in others, because the depression in a world government is not evenly distributed in the total rigged economy that we're moving into. Notice they don't even call it service economy now because you're not going to have that job. It's the new technocracy economy where everything is centralized. When we come back, I'm going to read you the transcript, play some of the clips of the Pope. Then we have our reporters joining us as they prepare to fly out of D.C. to New York following the pontiff, our father over the homeland. Here is the Pope before Congress this morning, just part of his speech promoting open borders. Here it is. When the stranger in our midst appeals to us, we must not repeat the sins and the errors of the past. The sins and the errors. We must resolve now to live as nobly as and as justly as possible. As we educate new generations, not to turn their back on our neighbors and everything around us. That's just part of it. Uh, some of the Vatican walls, because I said 30 to 40 feet yesterday, are 200 plus feet tall. He lives behind 200 foot walls, tax exempt, trillions and trillions in assets, but is telling us we are sinful, we are bad. With Boehner, who blocked banning partial birth abortion, sitting behind him, crying. Crying. You go to DrudgeReport.com, it has the image of Boehner breaking down crying. Truly disgusting. Part of this segment and the next segment, we're talking to Jakari Jackson. Then uh, David Knight, who's with him, is going to pop in and give us his take on the situation. But the House of Sin sermon. Pope lectures Congress on immigration, gay rights, and abortion. And he just says this little backhanded thing about marriage. There is an assault on marriage. So, so, so going from the Catholic Church openly saying marriage is a institution between a man and a woman, now he just gives a little vague bone to conservatives and other people. It, it's, it's just stunning. I cannot hide my concern for the family, which is threatened, perhaps as never before, from within and without, Francis told the Pack House Chamber. That's what he said, supposedly, uh, about gay marriage and the rest of it. And then he also praised the U.S. response to the pedophile scandal, which was a long, sickening cover-up. So victims are now striking back. I mean, this, this is just too much. Uh, I want to go to, oh, by the way, j just to, to remind myself, see, I told you so. Now the emission scandal has widened to BMW. As I said, I, I can't believe I was accurate again. On Monday, I said, watch it widen to BMW next. I, I just said that because it made sense. I mean, I, they're all doing it. All of them. Watch. BMW drops on report that X3 diesel emission exceeded EU limit. So BMW stock is down. Oopsie, we had the same thing. Oops, there's a tracker chip in your car. Oh, it fell in there on accident. Oh, 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 oh your car's watching you. Oh, 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 Google is listening to you in your house over the microphone. Oh, oh, remember 15 years ago I was a raving loom when I told you? I had their own company stock promotion literature. I have the inventor of the polio vaccine admitting it gave 100 million Americans cancer and saying it was good because there's too many of us. Ha, ha, ha. 
ha, 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 ha. Okay, it's not debatable. Jakari, we're going to break. Tell me what you got coming up, uh, and then we're going to throw it to David Knight. You guys have been filing amazing reports. The Border Patrol protecting the illegals. Stunts being pulled. Uh, TSA out searching everyone. What have you learned since then? And tell us what's coming up, uh, Jakari. Well, we were just out there where the uh, Pope was speaking. Of course, he was inside. We were outside. And uh, all the thousands of the people, this is the moment I wish I would have got on camera. I was digging in my bag at the time. But when he actually walked outside, you know, we saw him, I guess, about 400 yards away. And people who are in our area just fawning. And the one guy just jumped up like he just won the lottery. Just like He just couldn't believe that he was seeing this, you know, white dot way off in the distance. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, quite uh, something to see. But, yes, we were out there. We were actually... Uh, preceding the Pope speaking to the uh, to the House in there, there was a climate change activist kind of group. They had a lot of uh, singers and people out there all praising climate change, saying we got to do this. We need to limit our carbon emissions. People who rolled up there in, you know, convoys and, you know, all the Pope has a little Fiat. He has 10 huge uh, suburbans falling behind him. Same thing with Obama. So it's all just a really big joke. A lot of well-meaning people, but people were just, in my opinion, being taken advantage of. Well, obviously, it's all about seeing the Pope as if you'll be fulfilled. We could care less. We're there to cover what's happening. I know you guys got some footage as different groups clashed yesterday. Tell us about that, Jakari. Then we'll get David Knight's breakdown. I know you guys are about to board a plane, so I want to let you go soon to get down to New York. And then you're going to take a train to Philly uh, to cover uh, the Pope here telling us what to do. A foreign head of state, above the law, tax-exempt guy telling us what to do. Charts point to breach of August Lowe's S&P 500 after the Federal Reserve's chairperson, chair lady, Janet Yellen, unnerved markets last week with a dovish message and a hold on rates. U.S. stocks have not really known which way to turn. And Caterpillar is showing uh, record losses, shutdown of plants, you name it. Deep layoffs, we're going to be getting into that, what that really signifies. The New York Times is saying we should pay to fly illegal immigrants into Europe. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you, what a joke. Uh, and, of course, as I mentioned, uh, the new uh, VW situation is expanding uh, into BMW as well. So the Germans can run their ads saying, we have all the emission standards. No one else can step up to this level, not even the Japanese, because you're cheating. That's why, like Lance Armstrong. But it's all a fraud. You're cheating on a fraud to begin with. Who cares about carbon dioxide? It's like mother's milk to the plants. We're in a starve situation. I apologize. Let me go back to Jakari Jackson. Jakari Jackson, you're there in D.C. Tell us where you're about to go next to cover the his Grace, His Excellency, the Holy One, um, V.I. Lennon, excuse me, Pope Francis. Go ahead. Yes, he has multiple stops in New York. That's where we're going to head next. And then after that, we're going to head out to Philly. Now, before the break, you're asking me about the clash I saw outside the Pope event at the White House. It was uh, a group that was out there pretty much the whole time we were there, you know, yelling stuff at the, uh, the Catholics who were out there to see the Pope. And one guy who by their conversation, I think was actually Muslim, approached the man who had the megaphone, and then they had a brief exchange yelling back and forth at each other. But these guys, they were out there yesterday. Uh, the guys with the megaphone, they were out there again today. So I wouldn't be surprised if they showed up in New York or Philadelphia. What about other protests of the Pope, or has it just been worshipful throngs of anchor babies? I haven't seen too many protesters outside the people in the video that we showed uh, yesterday. Uh, there are a few people, you know, here there passing out their tracks, but by and large, most of the people are there either to uh, just see the Pope as a bystander or actually there to celebrate his being in the United States. Well, I think we've got a clip uh, coming up here in a few minutes, Shikari, of the Pope actually giving a private speech to Obama and Boehner. We're going to be playing a, a short clip of that. This is satire, folks. Uh, coming up here in a few minutes. Jakari, before we throw the mic over to David Knight to give his breakdown, uh, what are some of the other angles you're planning to report on? Well, we did a man on the street. We just asked people, you know, do they agree with the Pope's views on climate change? Of course, everybody said yes. And then I asked them, you know, what they would do to lessen their carbon footprint. So we have that coming up. And then just 
talked to the various people around, uh, see the security measures. We saw Border Patrol out there again today guarding the Pope. Uh, multiple alphabet agencies, every alphabet agency that you can think of was out there, high alert, high fences, everything that you could imagine for something like this, and probably even more than what you could imagine if I wasn't here. I wouldn't believe some of the stuff I've actually seen. Well, Jakari, it looks like a total circus there with the Border Patrol uh, and other people providing security for His Holiness. While we don't have our security, our borders are wide open. Those very people are there to protect him. Yeah, and it was so ironic to me because we see uh, these high gates and high fences, these uh, portable fences that they put up blocking the Capitol building with the Border Patrol standing right there at these portable, portable fences. But, you know, down on the border, you know, it's a very uh, lax environment. That's not knocking the Border Patrol. I'm knocking the orders that they're given in the way they are told to go about things. Sure, exactly, Jakari. But the Pope says be nice to any stranger in your midst. But but he's behind 200-foot, 100-foot walls. I misspoke oh, exactly. and said 30, 40. Some of the little front walls are that. Maybe they have them behind it that are 200 feet. 200-foot gray walls with armed guards with machine guns. He's not being a very good neighbor with all of his secret bank accounts. He's being probably the biggest hypocrite I've ever seen. Yeah, he, I mean, he has a lot of money. He has a lot of security, a, a huge carbon footprint. And like I said, it's nothing unique to him, whether it's Obama or Al Gore or any of these other guys who get out here and preach all this uh, climate dogma, then you know, they're some of the biggest contributors to the problem. Now, you've got a statue behind you, Jakari. Exactly what is that? Well, this is uh, actually something we just had to post up in front of because uh, we ran out of the hotel so quick. But, David, uh, you were doing some research on this a little bit earlier. Who is this guy? He's actually the father of homeopathy, Alex. I thought it was a good place to, to set up here. Interesting. Well, I'm going to give you a minute to flip back into the front there so we can talk to you, David. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shikari. We're going to go back to those guys there in D.C. about to go to New York. They've been filing a lot of really important reports on the nightly news, 7 o'clock Central, every single evening. And here, here's the deal. I'm getting more aggressive with the globalists because they're getting more aggressive with us. From Australia to the United States to Mexico, force inoculations are beginning. They give Mexican and Guatemalan schoolgirls shots, and a third of them start convulsing, and blood starts coming out their nose. It killed a bunch of people in the trials. The New World Order is not playing games. And so it's time to call it like it is and not just play along with all this. And, oh, the pontiff's here. He says, I can't have air conditioning. And how beautiful it is to be poor. That's because they're getting ready to create artificial austerity. That's why they're raising taxes to shut down productive people. They want us politically poor to be controlled just like Fidel Castro does. And to watch the Pope there praising that system and how beautiful it is that you're so poor is sick. It's not bad to be poor. It's not bad to live frugally if you want to and make that decision to basically have a hermitage or be a cogitor. In fact, there's some arguments that's a good way to raise children. But you need the money in an emergency for health care. You need to be able to travel some. You need to be able to have the things that money can give you, the security. And it's not evil to have it. It's only a symbol of energy. The root of evil is the love of money. Money is not bad. The love of it. Most talk show hosts that become successful like I do own a giant house and have a private jet. I don't have those things because I don't want a private jet or a giant house. Bigger than a four-bedroom is a giant hassle. A pool is a giant hassle. A boat is a giant hassle. I'm not saying it's bad if you have those things because that creates jobs. The point is that I get people that are into austerity, but that's self-imposed austerity, not forced austerity by a bunch of opulently rich people with jumbo jets, red carpets, and giant yachts, and total health care, and clean vaccines, giving us dirty vaccines and dirty water, who are eugenicists and have bad will for us and our family. Now, first, I have a clip uh, from Congress today. Uh, Pope Francis was addressing his new initiative, the EU expansion, uh, the treaty coming up uh, in December uh, there in Paris that will openly establish world government, uh, and but he he says it's for our safety and our security. So here here's the clip of Pope Francis just a few hours ago. In order to ensure the security and continuing stability, the Republic will be reorganized into the first galactic 
Empire for a safe and sick.